If it carries a pattern, it carries information. If it carries information, there has to be an energy source that allows that information to persist and the pattern to persist and so on. So again, you end up with a, a, a theory that is postulating something, it interacts with light. Because if, if you think a ghost is the soul, then it's something that people see sometimes. Mm. So that means it interacts with light, but we know how light interacts. So, so here's my arm, right? So it's made of electrons and protons and neutrons. And uh, if, I, if I have a soul in there, something that we don't understand, but it's a different kind of energy or whatever it is that we don't have in physics at the moment, it, it interacts with matter because I'm moving my hand around. We spend, we spend decades making high precision measurements of how matter behaves and interacts. And we look, for, for example, for a fifth force of nature. So we know four forces, the gravity, the two nuclear forces, called the weak and strong nuclear forces, and electromagnetism. And that's what we know exists. And we look for another one with all.